Are you hungry? Oh, I'll take that as a yes. I'm a little late this morning. Ugh. We gotta clean that mess up. Here's a good New Year's resolution. Clean up the old tack or get rid of it or something. Good morning, Speck. Good morning. Happy New Year. Good granny. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> I hope 2019 is a full one for you. See what I did there? Milk, full. Um, yeah, pretty sure the puns won't stop this year. Hope they just get better. <laughs> uh, sorry, not sorry. Hey y'all, so it's January 1st, and for us that means it is time to put our bulls out with our cows. We fall calve uh, October, November, so we put the bulls in January and February. And it is definitely a muddy mess and we need to move them around and it's gonna be interesting. First, we need to get them in another lot. So we're gonna use some feed right now and hope we can at least entice them into a lot that's easier, uh, easier for us to get them in the corral and move them around. Some of them are gonna have to be trailered. So, happy day. Oh, it's just, it's a mess. Plain and simple, it's a mess. What's that saying? It's not, this isn't a milkshake, but we got pellets. Hoping to bring all the boys to the yard. Oh, you can't see through the window. <laughs> and the girls on the other side of the fence all coming in heat. Yeah. We're getting there. So sometimes when I'm holding gates or on the tractor, it's really my best thinking time. It's like when my brain works the best and I just, I think of all sorts of things. So today we're gonna have a little lesson in mudology. Okay, are you ready? Okay. So mudology, the girls are loud, I'm sorry, is the study of mud. And I'm gonna go through what I have determined four stages of mud are, because I have them all right here in the same vicinity. So there is what I would call soupy, mud soup, soupy mud. This is where it's, it's like a liquid soup. Not a soup that I would recommend trying, but yeah, that's what that is. And then we go to another stage, which is like butt, butt, not butt, <laughs> boot sucking mud, okay? So like, yeah, uh, see, it's like, it wants to pull my boot off, but I'm not gonna let it. And then there's a stage of mud, uh, what, like right here, slicker than snot slicker than snot mud or as my husband says slicker than two eels in a bucket of snot sometimes he says two eels in a bucket of snot making love but anyway all right hold on okay and then the final stage of mud that i've determined is this it's um like a mud bath it's the point where you can actually use mud to clean mud. It does not seem right, but it's right because it works. See? It's amazing. It's like nature's own boot wash. A mud hole. I, I, just, I realized that not long ago and it just, it was really enlightening. So, there you go. Today's lesson in mudology brought to you by this farm wife. I've, uh, I've had a lot of experience. I'm just here to share it with you. Okay, so several people have asked, and I just want you to know that I've listened. So I call myself a farm wife, which means that someone made me a farm wife, and he does exist, and he's right here, and he's excited about being on camera. <laughs> so this is Lawrence. My husband. 
Um, so let's see. We'll get a couple things out of the way. It might appear that we're not exactly the same age, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually 10 years younger than her. I just been rude hard and put up wet. Okay, so that's <laughs> awesome. And what do you say when people ask if you're my dad? Because that's happened before. I say I could be. But you're glad you're not. But I'm glad I'm not, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and um, let's see. Another person made a really kind comment saying that um, they knew that my husband didn't marry me for my cooking abilities, which is true, but I have come a long way, right? You've done real well. I taught her good. Yeah, he's taught me good. <laughs> you have. And, um, oh, I know the little story I've shared before. Not on here, though. When was the first time? When was the time you realized that you wanted to marry me? First time we worked cattle. That's what I told her. I said, I'm going to marry you, girl, because the cattle's quiet and all. Uh, they think they, you've been here all the time. Yeah. So, see? Yeah. That works out. It's worked out, hasn't it? So far. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, this isn't his favorite thing. Social media is not his favorite thing. We're not going to get into that. But he. He tolerates me being on here. <laughs> and I don't think he minds sharing a little bit of what we do with the world. Anything you want to say to the masses? No. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. Hope it's better than this year. Yeah, we're hoping for dry weather would be really good. So because of our mud situation, we have borrowed a neighbor's tag along trailer all we have is a gooseneck and here it comes on the tractor so we can take a couple bulls down the road to another farm oh i thought i did all right buddy you ready to go see your girls just dropped him off here come the ladies <laughs> Let the fun begin. <laughs> hey, my boy. Hey, girly. Here they come. <laughs> this is the moment he lives for. Two months a year. He gets to do his thing. <laughs> Have fun, buddy. Yeah. I see ya.